Hey guys, Cam here. Today we're going to show you how to deal with uh, the situation that you burned your printhead. If you see this error, there are three possibilities. You burned your motherboard, or you burned your printhead, or you burned both. Congratulations. I got you this printer, a smoke coming out of it. <laughs> Okay, here's uh, what I have inside the printer. Uh, the problem is uh, leaking ink. So I have to take this whole thing apart and uh, check the leaks. So the ink leak into the printhead. And then um, the person, whatever, uh, turned the printer on. So there's a short inside the printer. Uh, the first thing you want to do is check the motherboard. Uh, normally on the motherboard, there are lots of writings uh, looking for the letter F. Uh, normally, the Epson F1 for the fuse. And in this case, I think it's a F301. And uh, there should be only one fuse for the whole motherboard. Did you see the F301? OK. Um, that fuse is not for the motherboard. That fuse is for the printhead. Uh, you can have the motherboard intact, but that fuse blow out. If that fuse is OK, and then you start checking the uh, transistors, and then you check the capacitors. Uh, I'm going to have a separate video show you how to test and, uh, and, and troubleshoot those. And uh, uh, I'll just say this motherboard is OK. It's a good one. Uh, let me just show you another board. Uh, this is CD16, and uh, the F1 fuse is right there. Uh, normally, if you blow the transistor or like a MOSFET or a capacitor, the motherboard will not turn on. If you blow out the F1 fuse, the motherboard will still turn on like this case, but the printhead cannot work. Okay, after we check the motherboard, now let's take a look at the printhead. Uh, you can see the, there are burn marks on the flex cable. I look at the printhead, and we can see the pin is already burned. It's burned inside out. Once the uh, the printhead is burned, uh, there's almost no chance that you're going to be able to fix that printhead anymore. Uh, if you come here and see how I fix a uh, burned printhead, you're in the wrong place. Once it's burned, it's burned. Uh, I can't help you too much. Uh, go to Google and search for the word printhead Jesus and he may be able to help you out. So we're going to keep the motherboard, and uh, we're going to switch to a new printhead. Uh, for the cable, you can go to uh, bchtechnologies.com, or go to printer parts. And uh, you can either go to a general flexi cable, or you can go to absence uh, flex cable. Uh, let me show you a way that uh, you can reuse uh, this cable without buying a new one. Uh, you can see this cable is burned all the way through. I'm going to peel the, the blue tape in the back. Um, you don't have to do this. You can just use a piece of uh, duct tape and uh, instead of the blue tape. Now you can see how badly the cable is burned. I'll take a pair of scissors and cut off the burn part. Now we glue the blue tape to the back of the cable. Uh, however, you don't again, you don't have to use uh, this blue tape. Uh, you can just use uh, regular duct tape to do the same thing. Now we wrap some paper around it and uh, put on a clamp and uh, let it dry. After it dried, I found that the easiest way is uh, to use a file to get, get it started. Uh, once you see the metal is exposed, and uh, switch to a, a really sharp razor blade and start picking. And to the final finish, uh, you can use a really fine sandpapers, like uh, uh, 400 to 800 grit. There's actually uh, two cables fused together. There should be a gap in between the two cables. So don't worry if you see a gap in the middle. Uh, now we can install a new printhead and uh, see if it works. OK, ready or not. Oops. Oh, there we go. 
Come on. There we go. How's that? No errors. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers!